Harris President Remarks Report. Mr. Jewell. <coughs> Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I definitely want to echo your sentiment that you said at the beginning of the meeting, that uh, during this time that we keep all of the families affected by um, last week's tornado in our thoughts and prayers, especially around Christmas, and then especially um, the family, both the immediate and extended family of Miss Allison Alexander, who tragically lost her life last Wednesday. Majority of my um, of my report here is going to be uh, geared towards the response towards the tornadoes, just to keep you all updated. Um, this was the 13th state of emergency that we've declared under uh, my administration. To give you an idea, that's an average of every 2.7 months declaring a state of emergency. So um, certainly we're hopeful that um, that will slow down uh, because it just is a lot to handle with uh, repeated, um, repeated events to respond to. So the Kelowna and Munts tornado, I want to start my report by saying uh, again, that our thoughts and prayers are with the, the family of uh, Miss Allison and Raymond Alexander, those who are affected by the tornado, uh, both in Kelowna and Munts. In total, we had 55 structures that were damaged. 45 of those structures are in Kelowna. Nine of those are in Munts. 24 of those are considered major, meaning that the building is compromised, the structure is compromised. 21 are considered destroyed or uninhabitable. Parish officials, including government employees, sheriffs, deputies, and first responders, were out within minutes to assess the needs and remove debris uh, to get our residents on the road to recovery. Immediately following the storm, parish government worked to get tarps, plywood uh, to our affected residents, tarps and plywood to the affected residents. Additionally, we worked to provide meals that night on Wednesday evening at the Kelowna Firehouse. Wednesday evening, uh, United Way and Catholic Charities arranged for 12 hotel rooms to be utilized by tornado victims. Additionally, various agencies from our community stepped in to provide meals and other necessities. I'd like to thank the United Way, Catholic Charities, the Red Cross, Second Harvest Food Bank, Valero, Birdies and Mike Nabut, We Made and Laron Bird uh, for providing food and various items such as clothing, um, Additionally, uh, I'd like to, um, we've had overwhelming support uh, from our residents who helped tremendously, tr tremendously to bring donations to our community, uh, to our community center, providing gift cards and manpower to help our residents in Kelowna and Munts. We also had support from industry partners such as Dow and Shell, uh, as well as the Lions Club. I believe Valero has contributed as well. Um, additionally, Intergy, Louis Recker Service, Legacy Industries, Lastly, I want to thank uh, sheriff, the Sheriff's Office for working with us side by side on the recovery, securing properties, and thanks to the Sheriff prov to, uh, for providing lunch uh, to residents on Thursday. While we have stopped taking physical donations due to the overwhelming outpouring of support, the United Way of St. Charles Parish is still collecting monetary donations. For those interested in helping, you can visit the United Way, uh, the United Way's website. Uh, uwayscorg slash SCPT, I'm sorry, SCP Tornado. And today uh, we began debris removal uh, for our residents. We've already been out there starting with the right of way. We've had 10 residents who signed a right of entry to allow us to get onto people's property to help remove debris. Since this is a, a non FEMA event, um, the handcuffs will be taken off a little bit for us, and we'll be able to get on there and do a, a little bit more of an effective job uh, getting the debris off of folks' properties. Um, additionally, the state has, has stepped in uh, to help with the debris uh, costs. We believe it's about 10,000 cubic yards at this point, um, and there will be a 75-25 cost share with the state. So that's um, a benefit, and we appreciate Governor Edwards uh, for coming down with his team uh, to not only see the damage, but to uh, w help walk us through uh, our response. It takes a team to get through storms like this, uh, and I'm incredibly grateful for the people who stepped up from our community. Uh, if there's anyone I forgot to thank, I do apologize, but please know how grateful that I am for all of your support. Uh, if residents are in need of anything, anything at all, we want them to call uh, the EOC at 985-783-5050. Additionally, I just want to say thank you to the EOC staff, the, um, 
the initial response, the initial activation and alerting of the residents, I thought was um, nearly flawless. As soon as the um, as soon as the uh, report for a uh, tornado warning came through, the alarms were sounded, the website, the the TVs were changed, uh, as well as our uh, emergency text and email system were activated. Additionally, I want to thank um, the PIO office for being very pro proactive as this storm was moving closer for, uh, for getting a lot of information out regarding the weather. Um, we even got on the radio about 10 minutes before, um, before those tornado sirens went off. And I truly believe that uh, all of our residents took it seriously. Um, so we appreciate them. And uh, it just kind of shows you that we're, we're very blessed in St. Charles Parish to have those warning sirens um, because not all of our... Um, not all of our, our neighboring parishes have them. Uh, want to move on really quickly to winter weather um, because that is coming up. We're going we're gonna to be able to, we're, we can expect about one to one and a half inches of rain throw, rainfall through tomorrow. Very cold temperatures are going to be following later this week. The extreme cold will begin Thursday night and can be expected to last through Saturday morning. Air temperatures are going to fall into the teens and 20s for multiple hours um, and um, and I, I think I should fall into the 20s, and then the, um, the wind chill temperatures will be in the teens and potentially into the single digits. Um, on Friday, we could see wind gusting 40 to 45 miles an hour, um, so it's going to be a great day to stay indoors by a fire, um, but should it be necessary, we are prepared to open a warming shelter for our residents who are in substandard homes or anybody living um, in, a, in a trailer that just can't keep warm. So we're going to keep an eye on this, and we're going to make a decision uh, based off of the need as we get closer to the end of the week. And we're going to keep you guys updated throughout the cold. But remember the four Ps, people, pets, pipes, and plants. Um, we ask that um, exposed pipes be wrapped with insulation to keep, your pre keep the pets inside. Uh, be cautious when using space heaters or other, uh, other heating devices in your home. Make sure that you have working smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, um, and to, to bring your pet, um, bring your plants inside. Also, bring your pants inside. Bring your plants inside to make sure that um, those are protected as well. Um, open jobs. We have several openings as always. To apply for those jobs, you need to visit s uh, visit stcharlesparish.gov slash employment or call nine eight five seven eight three. Uh, 5,000 for more information. Office closures, uh, as a reminder that all government buildings are going to be closed on Friday, December 23rd, as well as Monday, December 26th for the Christmas holiday. They will also be closed on Friday, December 30th, and Monday, January 2nd, in observance of the new year. I hope that everybody has a safe and Merry Christmas. Um, I want to get into a little bit more detail very quickly on um, the response from the uh, our Office of Community Services and I, I would be remiss if I didn't thank them. They have stepped up immensely to help work um, on a case-by-case -case basis with both individuals in months um, and in Kelowna. So just briefly, uh, a rapid response case management team was dispatched to the Kelowna area to assess the needs of victims uh, and as well as manned a station at the firehouse, walking uh, the neighborhood streets uh, where homes were damaged. The department distributed Winn-Dixie gift cards, Shell gas cards to residents that were directly impacted in, in the Kelowna Schoolhouse Road, Adams Street area, and provided uh, residents with immediate needs. Parish administrative staff assisted the department with distribution of gift cards to residents in months that had damage to their homes. 68 gift cards were available to residents in those areas, totaling $1,675 for Winn-Dixie, and then another $3,350 in Shell gas cards. The Kelowna Community Center was utilized as an immediate triage and haven for victims of the tornado. Tor tornado. Center staff were uh, on hand that evening to provide snacks to residents and first responders at the center. In addition, the community center staff provided 180 hot meals to residents and first responders on the ground on Thursday, December 15th. The center staff provided youth participants uh, of our after-school drop-in program with to-go bags of snacks. The Department of Community Service Emergency Assistance staff worked with our community partners to mobilize resources for the victims. This includes setting up a voucher system for clothing and household items through social concerns, coordinating emergency shelter with Catholic Charities, United Way, um, United Way Money Matters program, and working with 
uh, the United Way to secure additional gift cards for victims for ordering food through the Second Harvest Network. In addition, the department worked to secure donations from corporate partners and the community at large. An emergency distribution site for new clothing, blankets, underwear, essentials were set up at the Kelowna Community Center, providing residents with basic items to assist their immediate needs. On Saturday, staff cooked um, red beans at the Kelowna Community Center um, and provided um, those who did not receive gift cards supplies. The staff also provided vouchers to social concerns as well as distributed um, donations from the center. Um, and then on today, the Department uh, of Sur Community Services met with United Way and the Sheriff's Office to coordinate distribution of additional donations slash gifts that are available from industry donations. I want to just remind all the, um, the council members that anything that we get in the form of gift cards and other donations, we treat just like we get um, in the form of grants. So we sign all that information in, we account for it, and then we sign it out as we distribute it uh, so that we have a trail of who exactly it goes to and making sure that it goes to uh, the folks who are affected um, on, on, uh, from the tornado first. Um, and so I just want to say thank you uh, to Joan uh, for, for all of that. And Joan is on hand to answer any questions uh, that we might have. Um, I'm sure there was one other thing I had in my head that I can't think of right now, but that's it for me.